Here we are at one of the most difficult circuits on the racing calendar. Welcome to Monaco for today's Formula One qualifying. Monaco is a difficult circuit to drive on at the best of times, but with the poor weather conditions we could be in for, a fascinating few minutes lie ahead as the drivers try to put in a good lap time while ensuring that they don't hit the barriers. Well, that's the challenge of a street circuit like Monaco. You're constantly so close to the barriers that one small mistake could easily result in damaging the car, which could spell disaster for your qualifying session. Hey there, guys. It's Tom and welcome back to the Schumacher Comeback Career. And we are here at Monaco, and this is a round six of the championship. And as you can see, we're here in qualifying, and it's actually a very wet qualifying. As you can see, we've gone out with pretty much two minutes to go, and as you can see, we're just finishing our out lap at the minute. And we've got a bit of traffic, but we should be able to cross the finish line in time. As long as I pause into the pits, which will give us a nice, clear run through this hot lap. But as you can see, it's debris on the track everywhere. And um, let me know, guys, if you're enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm definitely really enjoying this game. The Cremo is so much fun, and I'm actually it's really refreshing, and I'm really having a good time. But nevertheless, here we are in a hot lap at Monaco, and it's wet, so we've got to watch out. We're going through turn one. And uh, it's actually a pretty nice line through there. So we go through Massonet now. Fourth gear, we do miss the Apex slightly, but we still make the corner quite nice. We're carrying a nice bit of speed through Casino there. As we go downhill into Mirabeau, down into the first sector split. And we're only a tenth and a half, almost two tenths off Rosberg. So a good first sector so far. As we go into the Lowe's Hairpin, there's more debris on the track now. And we're going to come out of the Lowe's Hairpin. And we're going to sweep. Oh, we've got lost the rear end. We've spun the car out of Lowe's on our hot lap. And the session is over. So that is going to mean we are going to start the race from the back of the grid here at Monaco. And that is definitely a shocker of a qualifying session there from us. Welcome to one of the most iconic race circuits on the Formula One calendar. It's Monaco, the playground of the rich and famous. If you want to send your rivals a message, then really there's no better way than to breeze qualifying, take pole position and then claim you didn't have to push all that hard in doing so. Talk about being full of confidence. He'll want to stay out of trouble over the first few laps, but he'll be determined not to let any cars pass him. If he can maintain that position once everything's settled down, he'll have a massive advantage and be able to control the race. Just what do you think will be going through Fernando Alonso's head as he watches now how well Ferrari are doing this year? Fernando left Ferrari as he didn't believe they'd be able to offer him the opportunity to win that third world title. If he knew this form was around the corner, I dare say he would have stayed put. So here we are then on the grid at Monaco going up to five red lights from P17 because there were cars that had penalties behind me and the Monaco Grand Prix is underway and we're going to get a pretty decent start actually we're going to get past Will Stevens into turn one hopefully if we can go up the inside yes we do uh, we're going to see if we can try and take a couple more cars going through Sandabot through turn one we overtake Stevens there and we go into 16th place for the time being as we go uphill into Massonet approaching Massonet uh, we're going to see if we can try and go around the outside of some cars as we go around the outside of Jensen Button there and then maybe take the inside line through Casino Square and we're going to see if we can try and overtake Button. Yes, we do. We get past him. Now, I've got the inside of Mirabeau on Nico Hulkenberg and we make the move, but Hulkenberg's still there on our outside and he's going to come back at us up the inside of Lowe's hairpin and we're going to have to go around the outside here, which isn't good, but we are going to prevail and get past Nico Hulkenberg there for 14th place and we're also going to go up the inside of Alonso uh, but we're not going to let it move, there's a yellow flag out somewhere, so someone's had an incident, there's Maldonado going really slow for some reason, so he's had a problem, but I'm um, with the 13th place now, and it's been a really mad first lap so far, and now we're going through the tunnel, we've hit the back of Alonso for some reason, Alonso slowed right down, and uh, we had to tap the back of him there, but um, I think that's a, a Williams going, so I think it's Massa who's going really slow there, and uh, we're going to snail pace through the new Rosh okay, and I'm going to go around the outside of Alonso, I'm going to go up the inside, of signs and Felipe Massa into Tabac and we're up at the P10 so a brilliant start but we get an illegal overtake on Fernando Alonso for some reason and we've got to let him back through and signs is also going to get past us so um, a really hectic first lap so far and we're actually now going to skip later on onto lap number two and behind Carlos Sainz and we're going to see if we can try and make the move this time we're going to go up the inside of the swimming pool chicane and make the move stick for 11th place and a good overtake there from us and a uh, really, really interesting start to the race so far. So now we skip on to the end of lap four. And we're going to do the exact same move again as we got the inside of Fernando Alonso at the Central Chicane. And we're up at the P10, back into the points this time. And uh, we're going to continue this good pace so far at the start of the race. And as we skip later on, onto lap number five behind Daniel Kvyat. As we go around the outside of Massane there, a brilliant overtake from us. And that's put us into the P9 there. And a really, really good overtake there going around the outside of Daniel Kvyat. And uh, definitely good stuff from us so far. 
this race as we skip later on onto number six and we got the inside of Bottas at Raskas but Bottas is going to hold around the outside but we do manage to get up the inside of the final corner and wrap up the P8 so really good stuff from us now as we skip on to lap number eight we go on the outside of Ericsson around Massonet once again but we're going to cap and we're going to go around at Massonet and we're going to go backwards and we're stuck into the wall and we're going to lose a lot of positions now because we're only eight laps into the race as you can see I'm trying to find reverse gear and we're down to 14th place that's an absolute shocker I think I did turn in a bit too early onto Ericsson there, but I was expecting him to back out, but um, that definitely caught me right out as now on lap 10, we go around the outside of Jensen Button at Mazine, but Button manages to get us back, so we're going to have to try and overtake him elsewhere as we get a good exit out of Casino, maybe up the inside of Mirabel, we break really late, we go up the inside of Jensen Button, but Button is still there, and he's going to force us into the wall, and we're going to actually lose a lot of our front wing there, which is going to cause us some severe damage, and Jeff is asking us to pit. So we're going to have to make a pistol put in this lap to replace the front wing, which we've got chronic understeer. And um, it's definitely not the sort of thing we wanted as now we go through the tunnel. And then um, we should have a, sustan a substantial loss of downfall. As you can see, we're going to go straight into the wall. And we've got a puncture on the front left. Due to the front wing damage that button causes by putting us in the wall, we've got a puncture now. And uh, we're going to have to come to the pits as now we spin it into the new Bell chicane. The, right, the left rear actually clips the wall. And uh, we're going to get pushed along by Stevens. But... Um, an absolute horror of a lap so far. The last two laps or so since we spun have been horrific and we've lost so much time. And um, I thought I made the corner, but obviously the car was is wider towards the rear because I clipped the wall. And I'm um, skipping on to lap 10, as you see at the end, we're coming for our pit stop here. And it's going to be a very slow pit stop. And as you see in the bottom left in the minimap, I'm down to last. So them two cars right there, that must be Hamilton and Rosberg, who are first and second, and there's Vettel in third. So we are going to go a lap down in this Monaco Grand Prix on only lap 10. So this is an absolute horrific race for us so far. It started off so well. We was up into P8, but then that one move on Ericsson has cost us as now we hit the wall. And we've got front wing damage again. And that's going to cause us the same exact problem as last time. And we've got a pit at the end of lap 11 once again because that front wing damage is actually really, really bad and it's really severe and actually affects you a lot. So we're going to have to come in at the end of lap 11 for a new front wing and another set of intermediate tyres. And that is definitely not what we wanted here. And uh, we're definitely well a lap down now, almost two laps, you could say. Uh, we have an absolute horrific race here at Monaco and things are really, really not working for us. And... Um, I think Fry will not be pleased with this performance from us today, and um, I, I just it's going to be a very, very bad race. But um, there's still a long way to go, so who knows? Maybe we can try and do something. Uh, there's no safety cars in this game, so we're going to have to try and unlap ourselves uh, by overtaking us. We've got the inside of Perez here at Tabak to unlap the first of many cars, hopefully. And uh, now we're going to try and overtake Will Stevens, who we're going to overtake nice and easily here. And um, he's going to not put up too much of a fight. And uh, hopefully we can try and pull away and not get the warning for the blue flag. And try and hunt down more cars here in the wet at Monaco. As the track is starting to dry out slowly. So um, we're going to have to watch out for that. Because obviously you can lose the rear end. As you can see, we've got a car in the pits here. And that's going to promote us up into 18th place. I believe it was Max Verstappen in the pits there. And then I think the lap 23, we're actually going to pit for the drives. The AI actually pit about three laps ago. But um, I decided to stay out a few more laps. The track was wet enough. And um, it did seem to pay off as I did seem to gain a bit of time on the cars ahead of me. So, um, as you see in a moment, Ricardo does set the fastest lap and he is on the drive. So it was time to switch over. And indeed I did that. And this time we do not spin it out the pit lane. We take it nice and easily. And uh, we're going to see now on these super softs because we will, be we will be going to the end on these. We're going to see if we can try and overtake any more cars. As once again, we spin it into the new Nouvelle Chicane. And um, by the way, guys, in, ca it, it's, in case you don't know, um, I did actually do this a lot of times, so I didn't bother showing it because it gets really repetitive, but I must have done that five times this race, guys, so um, definitely not good. That's, we set our fastest up of the race, easily fastest, and uh, we're behind Max Verstappen, and we're going to try and overtake him here as we go. And there, on the exit of Casino, down the inside of Mirabeau, can we make the move up the inside? Yes, we can, and can we run Max Verstappen out of road this time? It doesn't pull us into the wall like Jensen, but we go around the outside of Lowe's hairpin and we make the move there and we're up at the 17th place and um, good stuff so far as we see it later on on lap 33 and we set another fastest lap of the race and um, we actually overtake Ricardo there so Ricardo DNF into turn one something's gone wrong and he's obviously parked the car but um, skipping on to lap 38 which is the last lap of the race nothing else happened we got up into 15th place but that was about it we set the fastest lap on the last lap of the race but um, overall a very disappointing race
So Sebastian Vettel takes the win after an imperious drive today. It was a well-deserved victory as well for the German driver. It's been a great day's racing, and it's fair to say that they deserve that win. Their strategy was spot on. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. And there you have it, guys. A uh, very disappointing Monaco Grand Prix for us there. Down in 15th place, a teammate Vell actually wins the race. And um, Nico Rosberg down in 13th there. I believe he stayed out on the intermediates for the rest of the race, which made him drop back. But um, definitely a bit of a su surprising one there. And uh, not much we could do. We was nowhere near the points. We had too many mistakes that race. And overall, a race to forget, to be honest. We do drop to second in the championship. And Vettel actually overtakes us. But it's still a Ferrari 1 2, which is actually quite interesting because Mercedes still seem to be nowhere near us. Had Mercedes probably finished, uh, had Hamilton finished in Spain and Rosberg finished this race, then maybe they'd be a lot closer, but um, they seem to be messing up every now and again. And then the constructors, we've now got a 50-point lead over Mercedes, which is very good, and uh, Williams are actually starting to catch a little bit, so um, we've got to watch out for that. But nevertheless, guys, hopefully you enjoy this hectic career mode race at Monaco, even though it wasn't great. Um, if you enjoyed them, please leave a like down below. Uh, try and smash the like button. If we could hit 30 likes, that'd be brilliant. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time at Canada. So from me, goodbye.